name is Danny, and today I'm here with the video in partnership with Sally Beauty. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my Sally Spring upgrade when it comes to my hair. I feel like spring comes around and it's so confusing because it's so cold outside, but then you have the bright, happy sun and you see really bright floral prints at the store and it's like, what do you do? How do you upgrade? How do you do it? How do you go from winter to spring? successfully. I don't know, it beats me. Right now I'm freezing. For me, the easiest way to go from winter to spring when it comes to my hair is lightening it. I don't know if you've noticed a little something something, a little change happening here, but I did go a little bit lighter and with that comes a lot of responsibility. So I'm here today to show you how I take my hair and refresh it and get ready for spring and make it look fun and spunky and especially if you don't have time to maybe wash it every day, I'm gonna show you how to do three convenient hairstyles that are gonna go with you from clean hair to dirtiest hair. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite Sally Beauty products. All of these products will be listed in the description box below. They are available at your local Sally Beauty stores and the Sally Beauty website. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I told you guys, I lighten my hair and with that comes a lot of responsibility. So the first three products that I want to show you, I'm not going to show you in action because you have no business in my shower, Cochina. Um, but these are products from a brand called Generic Value Products. So it's a really cool story behind Generic Value Products. So basically what they did was they full on duped very, very luxury, high end, high quality products at a very affordable price. So they were able to figure out the formula of some of your most popular hair care products and they did them in a generic brand for Sally Beauty. <sighs> Can we just talk about how these products smell, first of all? Like I can't even, I'm, uh, like that might be one of the number one reasons why I use these products, especially now with my hair. So I told you guys I lighten my hair, so my hair is extra dry right now. So if there's any product that I can use that's going to um, add moisture to it, especially from the transition from colder months to the warmer months, I wanna do that. So I have been using the Generic Valley products in uh, Gentle Moisture, the shampoo and conditioner. So those are the two products right there. They smell amazing. They leave your hair super, super soft. Um, and then I also have this deep conditioning mask that I've been trying out. And I feel like it has sort of soften the texture of my hair. So my hair used to be curly, but from so much styling and heat tools, um, it kind of lost its shape, it lost its pattern. So now it's not curly, it's not wavy, it's not anything, it's just kind of there. Um, but a product that's infused with keratin is sort of softening the strands of my hair. So it's giving it a lot more consistency. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a product that has helped with that as well. So this is the Generic Value Deep Conditioning Keratin Mask. Look at that. I wish you guys had like smell-o-vision. This smells so amazing. Seriously, you guys, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. So I get out of the shower and my hair is a tangly mess. Why? Because it's processed. So I need tools that are going to make it easy for me to detangle, that are better for my hair, and are also not going to um, cause any additional breakage. Lord knows I could not spare to lose one more hair off this head. So this product from Ion is the Color Protect Shine Mist. Um, it's such a cool product. So basically what it does is it adds shine, it's a heat protectant, but it's also a detangler. And again, it smells really, really good. So I get out of the shower, I take my towel out, I spray this from like mid shaft down all throughout my hair, and then I go in with a wet brush. And I showed you guys three, 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 two, one. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of me detangling with a wet brush. Now this is wet hair with a wet brush, and you can see how much hair I actually lost. Um, hardly any, right? Two, maybe two strands of hair that I broke off, probably because I was brushing a little bit too hard. But the wet brush is one of my favorite tools, especially if you guys have younger kids with longer hair and their hair gets a little ratty. I don't know about you and your children, you guys, but mine wake up like they had a full on battle on their head. I'm like, you guys have short hair, first of all. Second of all, how does it get so ratty? Do your kids do that? So anyway, the wet brush is actually a really cool brush because the bristles are soft, and so they kind of move with your hair. So as opposed to tugging, it's gonna move with your hair, even if you do have tangles, and it'll be really gentle. You can see how easy it's going through my hair. So I detangle my hair with these two products, and then I go in with whatever heat tools I wanna use. I like doing my hair in kind of like soft waves, because even if the waves aren't precise, 
or symmetrical or anything or my part is crooked. It's just gonna give you that really soft, fun, jovial, soft waves look, right? So the first thing that I did is I went from wet hair to dry hair and I did that using the um, Ion Magnesium Pro Hair Dryer. I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy this dryer just because A, it's a professional hair dryer. B, it dries your hair really, really fast. C, it has three heat settings, two speed settings, and it does give you that cool shot of cool air. But can we talk about the matte black factor? I feel like a lot of people are gonna fall in love with this just because of the really beautiful aesthetic about it. It looks very professional, it works really great. I mean, it dries my hair in just a few minutes. In conjunction with this hair dryer, I do use um, the Ion Anti-Frizz Thermal Brush. This is a round brush, and this is great for like just blowouts. Like, I just round brush my hair. On days where I don't want to wave it, curl it, or anything, I'll just round brush it. And this is a cool um, round brush because I don't know if you guys saw the temperature change on the brush. It's really important that when you're using a brush like this one, this is a um, anti-frizz thermal brush, that you heat up the metal first because if you go in with the cold metal, it's gonna tangle in your hair and it will cause breakage. So what I do is I heat it up with my dryer. I know when it's ready because it changes color. So I warm up the brush and then I round brush my hair. It's a really great brush. It makes your hair shiny and soft, but it also dries it really, really fast. I'm always in a hurry. Like I've tried to make it a point to not rush and to wake up early enough. Doesn't matter how early I wake up, I'm always in a hurry. Then I also use the Iron Magnesium Pro um, Curling Iron and this is a one inch iron. So this is cool because it does have a clip. So if you guys are still a little nervous to use wands, a clip is cool because it allows you the freedom of one hand if that makes you a little bit nervous. I really love this iron because like I told you guys, I have really fine and thin hair and I need a curling iron that's going to have a varying temperature or a temperature gauge where I can control the setting that I want on it. If you guys have thicker or coarser hair, this curling iron does go up to 430 degrees, which is more than enough heat than you need for your hair. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of ways that I kind of tweak my hair, especially when I don't wanna wash it. So what I did is I curled my hair with the Magnesium um, Pro Iron uh, all throughout my hair. And what I did is I didn't go too close to the root because I do want it to fall a little bit flat. And this is kind of like my easy wave, no, no fuss, no must look, right? Then when my hair starts to get a little bit dirtier, a little bit yuckier, um, I do like to apply some of the Beyond the Zone Rock On Dry Shampoo. This dry shampoo smells really good. You know what I think? I think that these hair companies put like the most amazing smelling fragrance in their products and then we don't really notice if it works or not. We just love the way it smells, so we're like, yeah, I get all over my hair. This is a product that is for medium to dark hair. It smells amazing, and it literally leaves no cast. Um, my hair tends to get pretty oily uh, very quickly. I mean, within the first day of washing it, my hair is already very, very oily. So I like to apply a dry shampoo for two reasons. A, to absorb the excess um, oils in my hair, but B, to refresh the way it smells. I don't wanna smell like pillow, you guys. So, okay, those are my natural waves, right? And then my hair starts to get a little oily, a little greasy, I'm not a fan. So what I like to do is I'll usually pin the top half or the front half so that I kind of mask the area of my hair, which is the most visibly oily. So all I do, you guys, literally, and this is where the greasiest part of my hair is, I will go in about, right about the area of where my temples are, take out a little bit of these baby hairs. I just wanna make sure that you get a really good shot of, you know, what I've done to my hair. Cause getting your hair done ain't cheap, you guys, right? So I make sure that it looks nice and cute and smooth. I have a nice little layout or spread of my highlights. And then I go in with any sort of claw clip or baby uh, bobby pins or anything that you use or that's better for like the thickness of your hair. I make sure that the sides look really cute. Um, make sure that you cover your ears, right? Cause you wanna do that like sweet, almost like romantic hairstyle. And then if you have any flyaways like here, my favorite hairspray from Sally is the Ion Shaping Plus. This is a finishing hairspray, but it's also strong hold. So it doesn't matter the texture of your hair. It doesn't matter the condition of the climate. Um, it doesn't matter what's happening. It's gonna hold your hair tight. You go in with a little bit of this hairspray and I just like to make sure it's nice and slick, but I like it to look effortless. You know what I mean? So I'll put it on, but I still want it to look like I don't have hairspray. It looks like, oh wow, her hair is so tame. Like I wish I had her hair. No, you don't. It's all fake, you guys. It's all fake. It's all really good products. My favorite part about this hairstyle is that it does what it's supposed to do. And for me, because I do have a very oily scalp, 
It allows me to feel like I don't. You're totally faking the funk. No one can see that your scalp is super, super oily. <laughs> High five, guys. Not to mention that your hair is out of your face, but you know what's also really cool? The back looks super cute, doesn't it? It looks like you put a lot of time and effort into your hairstyle when you really didn't. But guess what? No one needs to know. All right, and the last hairstyle, this is the one where your hair is crying for a bath. Here is like, Danny, please wash me. And that's gonna be the ponytail. But I like to do a ponytail that doesn't look very slick back, again like this. Let me go ahead and show you. So the easiest way for me is to part my hair right above the ears, but I go towards the front of my head so that I apply this awesome product towards the front of my hair to create volume. And this is the Ion Multi-Benefit Refresh Spray. This is a volumizing spray slash texturizing spray slash dry shampoo. This product is really cool if you have thicker hair that actually has the strength to carry such a heavy product. I only use this product when I'm gonna do a ponytail. Okay, I wouldn't use this product to actually absorb oil or to refresh my hair and actually leave it down. I only do this product when I want to refresh my hair in a ponytail. I know it's a little bit of a contradiction, but trust me, you guys, let me show you. So you apply that to the roots, and this is one of those products that when you rub it in, it creates volume. I don't know if you guys can tell. It gives you a lot of volume. I don't tease my hair, you guys. I can't swear to lose a single strand of hair. So I go in with a volumizing spray, and then I kind of adjust my hair to how I want it to look in the ponytail, and I'll hairspray it before I actually put it in a ponytail. So I'm gonna put hairspray on. And this is how you get the effortless pony, you guys. It's not as effortless as you think, but it really helps, especially if you're trying to avoid any breakage. I don't like to tease my hair, and I feel like this is one of the easiest ways to do it, to get that sort of like effortless pony without damaging my hair. And then, I grab all my hair, and I make sure that there are no like skips in my hair back here. You wanna make sure that you're not squeezing the top, anywhere around the uh, crown of your hair or all that work that you did, don't squeeze around there. I promise you it's gonna look cute. I always wrap around three times because my hair is so thin. And then I go in where the hair is tucked in at the pony and I pull a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take the outer edge of my pony and I'm gonna squeeze up, up, and then I'm gonna pull some of the hair out not out completely, I'm just gonna loosen it, and then again. So what we're doing is we're creating sort of like this little effortless lift happening. Then you go in with your hairspray or whatever you wanna use to slick your hair back. I like to do a little bit of like loose hair down here. I feel like, again, it adds to that effortless look. <laughs> so we'll do a little hairspray on these little stragglers that we have here. Like that. Loosen a little bit of this here. There we go. There we go. Now my hair right now is in a lob, which means it's longer in the front than it is the back, so I always get these crazy little hairs. But I don't really mind if I'm going for the effortless look. If I do mind a little bit, I'll just kind of pinch the back and twist it a little bit, and I'll take either a bobby pin, any sort of clip, something cute, like maybe a little accent um, hair piece, and then I'll just pin my hair back. And then my cute little ponytail is gonna hide that little bobby pin back there. And even if it doesn't, I don't really care. It's no big deal, because effortless pony, am I right? And what does the back look like? Well, let me show you. How cute is that little ponytail? I have like the tiniest ponytail of life. Don't make fun of me, you guys. And anyway, so that is it for this Sally Spring Upgrade. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, how easy was that, right? I feel like when it comes down to beauty, if you can find that perfect hybrid of make me feel pretty, but it's also practical, convenient, and easy, I'm all about that life. So you're able to take your hair from processed to taken care of, to easily detangled, to beautifully styled, and then transform it into three different hairstyles that are easy, will stay out of your face, and will sort of like brighten up your look, change it up from winter to spring, and you have really convenient hairstyles that you can whip up in a jiffy with dirty hair. Kind of awesome.
awesome, right you guys? Anyway, all these products are available at your local Sally Beauty stores and the Sally Beauty website. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And like always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.